The objective of the Perfect Entrepreneur Game is to have learners describe and discuss a variety of entrepreneurial skills and competencies that are needed to be a successful entrepreneur. To play this game, the following resources are required. A flip chart or board in the classroom to write on. Every learner must have a pen or pencil and paper to make notes. The methodology of the game centers on learners performing in pairs two role-play sessions of limited duration. One session is dedicated to identify the characteristics of a not-so-perfect entrepreneur and the other to identify the characteristics of a perfect entrepreneur. Each learner in every pair gets the opportunity to share information and make notes in a particular role-play session. These role-play sessions are then followed by a group discussion. Divide the learners into pairs. Let the learners in each pair decide who is player one and who is player two. In the first roleplay session, have player one in each pair give reasons why he or she thinks he or she would not be a not-so-perfect entrepreneur. Player two in each pair must write down all the reasons provided by player one. After three minutes, player one and player two swap roles. Now, player two in each pair must give reasons why he or she thinks that he or she would be a not-so-perfect entrepreneur, while player one in each pair writes down all the reasons provided by player two. When another three minutes have expired, learners proceed with a second role-play session in which they now give reasons why they think they would be a perfect entrepreneur. Exactly the same procedure is followed as in the first role-play session with regards to the swapping of roles after three-minute intervals. At the end of the second role-play session, a classroom discussion on the characteristics of a not-so-perfect entrepreneur and a perfect entrepreneur is conducted. The teacher gets feedback from the class and compiles a list on the board or flip chart indicating the characteristics of a not-so-perfect entrepreneur. The teacher or learner appointed as scribe compiles a list on the board or flip chart indicating the characteristics of a perfect entrepreneur. As a summary, the teacher reviews both lists on the board or flip chart and facilitates a discussion with learners using the following questions regarding learning points. Do all learners have the potential characteristics to become entrepreneurs? Is it a negative if some learners do not possess the characteristics to become an entrepreneur? What have you learnt from this exercise? Do you have the entrepreneurial characteristics needed to become self-employed? What I think would make me a successful entrepreneur is that I know that I'm persistent and I can stick through tough times even though it's hard. I am afraid to take risks because I believe that I'll fail in the things that I do. Creative thinking is an important characteristic of an entrepreneur and coming up with different ideas. I am a creative thinker and I can come up with different ideas that could be useful in a business. Well, I don't think I can survive in the business entrepreneurial environment because I'm always imitating. I cannot come up with things by myself. So I'm always taking examples or ideas from other people. To be a successful entrepreneur, one has to be persuasive, and that's what I am. I get what I want when I need it, and that's a skill that will help me succeed.